Hey, it's Fergie with Recording Crave. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. Hey, a quick tech video for you. I had an issue with my Bluetooth mouse. This is one of those Mac mouses. And then also my keyboard, which I just got just a few months ago, had issues with that. And I will get to the reason why in a second, but I want to show you how to fix the issues. You know, I'm, I'm running a mid-2012 Mac Pro tower. It's known as the 5 comma 1. When I got online to research uh, what to do to fix the issue, a lot of the different blogs and things said, uh, delete your uh, Bluetooth prefs. Well, I did that and still didn't work. I thought it might have worked for a little bit, but then it was immediately really lagging. The keyboard would take a few strikes to actually engage before it did. And if you're editing in your DAW, you obviously don't want that. That is a headache and a nightmare. And if you're not a recording enthusiast like this for this channel here, uh, you're just wanting to fix your Bluetooth, you can still do that as well. Now this is specifically for the uh, 5 comma 1 tower or maybe even the four comma one pop probably as well but uh, if it's a laptop or one of the other Mac products out there this may not help you but uh, here we go so I'm gonna jump into this and what I did was I bought an antenna off of Amazon for a Bluetooth extender essentially let's jump into that and I will show you how to add that Bluetooth extender to your Bluetooth module in your Mac Pro so here we go after unpacking it, this is how it comes, um, and as it is, it's very expensive. It's 24 25 bucks, something like that, and for a piece of cable, and here's the computer I'm going to put it into. We're going to take off the cover, and then we're going to take out this portion of the computer here, and then we're also going to take out the graphics card up here and remove those so we can have access to what we need to get at. This cable down back here like so and then this piece right here I gotta take this off my hands are so big I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to accomplish that I might have to get a tool to pull that off and put the other one on I have to make sure I stay clear of where the video card goes back in Not gonna lie, that was a pain in the butt to get on. But it does go on. Now to put this back on. Now we're gonna stick this guy back into his little place right down here. Now the adhesive that was on that little uh, foam pad there still, still has some stick to it. Bring this down. that back on
and you're good to go. Here's what it looks like now. So now we have this cable that Put the antenna on here. Okay, so let's put the cover back on. Let's make sure this is up, otherwise it won't lock in place. Seat the bottom in first. Top should go in like so. Lock and we're ready to go. So let's go hook her up. And despite being a little bit of an expensive uh, wire and connection there, uh, it did work, so I'm very happy. My Bluetooth mouse works great without any lag or anything like that. And my keyboard works as it should. And, and what I did was I, I placed the antenna right here. So it's literally right in front of me, and it's within like two feet of my mouse and keyboard. So it's, it's close. Here's, here's a picture of where my computer is, and here is where my mouse and keyboard are and there's a lot of equipment in between that and I think when I moved my my computer used to be under my desk by my feet and it wasn't an issue then but when I moved it over and I didn't even make the connection that that's what it was because it took me a while and when I moved my computer over to where it is in this picture here I had a lot of interference from the different equipment between there and probably the distance too I don't know for sure but but uh, so glad that I got it figured out and it should work for you too. And that's all you have to do. It's probably about a 20 minute process. It just depends and really getting that new uh, connector on to the Bluetooth module is the most difficult thing that there is. So I wound up taking that little module off as you saw in the video and putting it back on. There's just a little uh, a foam piece that uh, has a little bit of adhesive to there that will if you just turn it and twist it it will come right off and make sure the screw is out first and then uh, gently yeah just gently twist it and then it will pull off and then you can access it easier I have seen it done where you can uh, take the original uh, cable off and then put that on there but my fingers are too big to make that work so hopefully this video was helpful if it was we give me a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber I would love it if you would subscribe and we'll see you in the next video